Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. This is the second part of a two-part video on how to determine the oxidation numbers of elements in a compound. In the last video I showed you the rules for oxidation numbers of elements when they're in a compound and if you haven't seen this video I'd recommend that you watch it now. In this video I'm going to show you how to apply these rules. I'm showing you here the formula of water. As you can see a molecule of water contains two hydrogens bonded to one oxygen. Now a key idea you need to understand is that all of the oxidation numbers of the atoms in a compound must add up to the total charge on the compound. A water molecule has a total charge of zero. As we saw in the last video, hydrogen has an oxidation number of plus one unless it's in a metal hydride. We've got two hydrogens, so the total oxidation number for both of these hydrogens is plus two. The oxidation number of oxygen is minus two. Adding plus two to minus two gives us zero, which is the total charge on the water molecule. Here's another example for you. This shows phosphoric acid we're going to determine the oxidation number of the phosphorus. You'll notice that the overall charge of the molecule is zero. There are three hydrogens, each with an oxidation number of plus one. This means that the total oxidation number due to the hydrogens is plus three. There are four oxygens, each with an oxidation number of minus two. So the total oxidation number due to the oxygens is minus eight. The molecule has an overall charge of zero. This means that the phosphorus must have an oxidation number of plus five. Here's one for you to try. This shows sulfuric acid. I'd like you to determine the oxidation number of the sulfur. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, as you can see, the sulfuric acid molecule has an overall charge of zero. We've got two hydrogens, each with an oxidation number of plus one. So the total oxidation number due to the hydrogens is plus two. We've got four oxygens, each with an oxidation number of minus two. So the total oxidation number due to the oxygens is minus eight. This means that the oxidation number of the sulfur is plus six. Here's another one for you. This shows sodium dichromate. I'd like you to determine the oxidation number of the chromium. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, we've got two sodiums, each with an oxidation number of plus one. This means that the total oxidation number of these sodiums is plus two. We've got seven oxygens, each with an oxidation number of minus two. So the total oxidation number of the oxygens is minus 14. Sodium dichromate has an overall charge of zero. This means that the total oxidation number due to the chromiums must be plus 12. Because we've got two chromiums, the oxidation number of each individual chromium must be plus six. Okay, here's another example. This is an ion. I'd like you to determine the oxidation number of the manganese. So pause the video and try this yourself. Okay, we've got four oxygens, each with an oxidation number of minus two. This means that the total oxidation number of the oxygens is minus eight. The compound has an overall charge of one minus, and remember that the total oxidation numbers must add up to this charge. This means that the manganese must have an oxidation number of plus seven. Now this brings us to an important point. This ion is called manganate seven, and we often see ions with names like this. The Roman numeral tells us the oxidation number of the manganese. Here are two more examples. These are called chlorate one and chlorate three. In these cases, the Roman numeral tells us the oxidation number of the chlorine. In chlorate one, the chlorine has an oxidation number of plus one, and in chlorate three, the chlorine has an oxidation number of plus three. Now looking at both of these examples, you can see that the chlorine has reacted with oxygen, and because oxygen is more electronegative than chlorine, it can remove electrons from the chlorine atom. Here are two more examples for you. These are called nitrate five and nitrate three. In these cases, the Roman numeral tells us the oxidation number of the nitrogen. In the next video, I'll show you how to use oxidation numbers in chemical equations. 